What is the difference between an individualist and collectivist worldview? And why is this important? Stay tuned to find out. Welcome, I'm Maria, and in this video, I'm going to define individualism and collectivism, compare these terms, give examples, and show you how to apply these terms. Individualism and collectivism are two opposing worldviews that shape the way we understand the world, see ourselves and our place in society, and guide our relationship with others. Individualism emphasizes the importance of personal goals, autonomy, and self-expression, while collectivism prioritizes the interests of the group and values harmony, cooperation, and social cohesion. Let's start with individualism. Individualists believe that the individual is the most important unit of society. They believe that each person should be free to pursue their own goals, needs, and desires without interference from others or society. They value personal autonomy and individual rights, and they believe that people should be rewarded based on their own efforts and achievements. On the other hand, collectivists believe that the group is more important than the individual. They believe that people should work together to achieve common goals and that the needs of the group should take precedence over the interests and needs of the individual. They value social harmony and cooperation and they believe that people should be rewarded based on their contribution to the group. So which worldview is better? Well, that depends on your personal values and beliefs. Individualism is great for promoting creativity and innovation, and it allows people to think outside the box and pursue their own unique ideas. However, it can also lead to a sense of isolation and loneliness as people focus solely on their own goals and desires. Collectivism, on the other hand, promotes social cohesion and a sense of community, which can be great for creating a supportive and caring society. However, it can also stifle creativity and individual expression and people are expected to conform to the norms and values of the group. A subcategory for collectivism is feminism or feminism, not sure how to pronounce that, but it's where the priorities of the family takes precedence over those of the individual. Before I share my personal experience, I want to know which worldview were you raised with and what is it now? Do you feel you're more of one worldview or a blend of both? Share in the comments below and if this video is helping you so far, please hit the like button. So let me share my experience to give you an example. I was raised with a collectivist mindset where my family, immediate and extended, was my group and that my family's needs took priority over individual needs. And it was important to bring honor to the family. You'll bring honor to us all. If I got a bad grade on a math test, my dad saw it as an embarrassment to the family and he helped me not so much that I would be good in math, but that I would restore a good family image. So getting into a good college was essential for the image of our family and reflected my upbringing. As a result, my parents were willing to do anything to help me achieve that because my success would become part of the collective group. Now, being raised in America did shift that collectivist worldview in my parents more to the individualist side in the sense that when I got into college and realized that I didn't like my major, my parents gave me more room to develop my goals as an individual and didn't force me to take the typical Asian route of becoming a doctor or a lawyer or a business person. They did make me think about the long-term goals of choosing my major and that I had a plan to do something worthwhile that makes a decent salary instead of a bunting off them later in life. Also with collectivism or familism, my parents made decisions that would ultimately benefit their children instead of themselves. My mom kept her job at the bank, not because she liked it, but because the money she made helped her family. So I see benefits of both worldviews to teach the value of a cohesive family while encouraging individual interests and needs. Therefore, both individualism and collectivism have their pros and cons. What are your thoughts on these worldviews? Please share in the comments below and subscribe for more content about applying child development concepts. Whether you're an individualist or a collectivist, it's important to respect and appreciate the values and beliefs of others and work towards creating a society that values both individuality and collectivity. Check out this video on another child development concept and see you over there.